What is the typical image that comes to mind when you think of time travel? A flashy, fast machine? Or maybe the DeLorean from Back to the Future? Well, I've discovered a new method of time travel. And during my PhD, I've been using plant seeds to time travel. Hundreds of seeds were collected by scientists many decades ago and locked away in freezer vaults. I have been able to travel back in time by unlocking these seeds and growing them to learn exactly how our plants grew in the past and measure their historic adaptations. In a controlled glass house right here at UNSW, I grew thousands of these historic seeds right alongside modern plants from the same set of species. This allowed me to measure how much plants have changed through time and if these changes are in response to climate change. I have found that plants have already changed a lot through time. Plants are changing the way they are growing and reproducing, including adapting in their height, their leaf chemistry and their seed size. And not only have plants changed a lot through time, these changes are actually in response to climate change. What was interesting though, was that it wasn't the aspects of climate that I had predicted to have the greatest push on these plants adapting. It wasn't increases in average temperature or decreases in average rainfall that had the biggest impact on these plant adaptations. It was actually changes in extreme measures of climate, such as heat waves and dry spells and climate instability, which had the biggest impact on our plants. These extreme measures of climate are predicted to come on strong into the future as the climate becomes more unstable, but our plants may just have the ability to respond to this climate change. This is exciting news for the future of the survival of plant species. My research presents a glimmer of hope that as the climate continues to change, our natural ecosystems and our crop food resources may be able to adapt and survive into the future. But my results are in response to current rates of climate change. And here's the problem. The Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change has predicted that in just the next few decades, there will be drastic increases in temperature. If countries around the globe do not join together to make important decisions about the future of our planet and lower greenhouse gas emissions, the rate of climate change may become too fast for our plant species to keep up, adapt and survive. No plants, no food, no oxygen, no future. <laughs>